<laughs> right now. Hey everybody, welcome. And forget guys planning the wedding, it's all about, or excuse me, forget women planning the wedding, it's all about men planning the wedding. Good morning everyone, I'm Amy Caraba, live outside our studios. Coming up, I'm going to introduce you to a wonderful man who has a great story to tell you about grooms planning the wedding. We'll have the details coming up in a live report. We're in the bizarro world. <laughs> And you can call him the Groomzilla, but more and more men, believe it or not, are actually picking everything from the hors d'oeuvres to even picking out the bride's wedding dress. Good morning, everyone. I'm Amy Caraba, live outside our studios. I'll bring you this story coming up next in a live report. <laughs> Chris, thank you, sir. A groom's checklist on his wedding day usually consists of one thing. Yeah. Show up, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. But believe it or not, more and more grooms are taking charge of their big day. Stop it. Fox 5's Extreme Amy, live outside our studio with details on this uh, new possible trend. Are we talking Groomzillas? Yeah, we're talking Groomzillas. Was Ted a Groomzilla at all? No, he, no. no, seriously. He's like, what time do you want me there? And yeah. that was yeah, it. Yeah, what time should I show up? And exactly. then he was like 20 minutes late. And <laughs> we have an open bar. That's, that was it. <laughs> Not if he was paying. Yeah, Cheats I know. <laughs> okay, well, Mark Wallerstein's joining me. He's the CEO and founder of Grooms on a Line. Now, this is a website dedicated strictly to grooms, right? Correct. Correct. And we love it. Been well, around for 10 years. Well, I'm sure you love it, but this new trend about grooms taking over control of the wedding. I'm a female. I would have a very difficult time letting someone else plan my wedding, especially if it was my future husband. Why? Because I, I don't know. Is That's, it a trust thing? I, it's not a trust thing, but maybe I'm a control freak. Maybe. I, I don't know. I think it's also a lot of women, they want this elegant wedding and they're afraid the man's going to pick out horrible colors, maybe do something like a donut wedding cake that we're going to talk about a little bit later on that you brought for us. I mean, I would freak out. <laughs> well, don't because more and more guys get involved because of the they're paying for it. Yeah. And what's nice about them getting involved in their wedding is there's so much out there. And that's because more weddings these days, parents are actually not paying for it. So the bride and the groom have to pay. So that's why there's more groomzillas, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and because of the internet, there's so much more content and so much more they can actually find to plan their wedding. It makes it a little bit easier for them. Okay. So what's the biggest thing that they're kind of starting with? Right now you brought this to show us. The biggest thing they're doing is picking the collar. Well, that's it. Color is is the thing this year and as you could see there's so many new colors for instance when a when a bride she goes to the bridal shop now and picks out her bridesmaid's dress she can actually take that same swatch go to the tuxedo shop and put color into the groom instead of having the black tie and the basic classic black tux right add some color exactly and it looks so much better so in the picture what if the groom picks out brown and yellow or something then hopefully the bridesmaid's dresses are brown and yellow too and if it isn't he will try to talk her into having it. <laughs> and he will not be able to talk her into that one. <laughs> okay, and then Groom's Gifts right here. This is something you brought. That This is a great job that grooms are really starting to take control over because uh, brides usually put the date on things, right? And they want to change that. Exactly. A lot of uh, the gifts usually have the bride's name and the groom's name and the date and how many guys really want to actually display that when they actually have such a nice gift where they could display with their own name on it? And more and more grooms are starting to do that by putting just the guy's name and on the gift. And get creative about the gift so it's not something cheesy that maybe exactly. the bride will pick out. Like here we have some great, great cigar humidors. And you see we monogram them. And we also have over 100 styles that they can actually choose from in themes. So if they like poker or if they like to own an Irish bar, they could actually put that pick on the out. gift. And that's something the groom Groom's going to know rather than the bride. Coming up, we're going to talk about food, even these new cake trends that grooms are picking out. Everything is going to be posted on our website for more information. That's fox5vegas.com. And there you can find the link for Grooms Online, which is your website. That's becoming huge. Okay, Amy, yes, right? Amy. Huge. Okay, what? this is why grooms should not plan the wedding. Show the, the donuts again. Can yeah. You this is um, That's not a, new a cake. Trend. <laughs> it is a plate of donuts, okay? While this delicious, it's not a cake. He's trying to sell that as the groom cake, and I said, that's a redneck groom cake. Sorry, yeah. folks. I mean, oh, that's why, uh, that's why Dave perked up when yeah. he saw it. That was actually a great idea. <laughs> well, All right, guys. coming up on that. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> Get Bridezillas, Groomzillas are on the rise, and yeah, they're creating things like a donut groom cake. This is for real. Good morning, everyone. I'm Extreme Amy, live outside our studios coming up. I'm going to introduce you to this story. I'll have the details in a live report. 
went from picking the color to your wedding, or check this out, maybe designing a new up-and-coming donut wedding cake. Watch out, ladies. Groomzillas are on the rise. It's the new trend. Good morning, everyone. I'm Amy Carabo, live outside our studios. I'm going to bring you this story coming up. You don't want to miss it. That's it. All right, grooms are no longer just showing up for their wedding day. They are taking charge <laughs> of the big day from ordering flowers to choosing the cake to even picking out the bride's wedding dress. Mm. Oh, boy. Fox 5's Extreme Amy is live outside our studio with details on this possible new trend. Amy, um, the more I hear it, the more I think about it, I'm kind of liking this trend. I like having I, control. I heard what you said about the pizza, the chicken wings. How about a donut cake yeah. and beer? Right here. Sounds great. Donut cake and beer. This is the new wedding cake trend for grooms. And I have to say I'm liking it. I'm actually liking it. Mark Wallerstein's joining me from Grooms Online, hot website for grooms, because the new thing is Groomzillas, not Bridezillas, right? Groomzillas. They're taking over, and they're taking over in a big, big way. <laughs> and some of the ways they are taking over is with their groom cake. And we actually had a groom that wanted to design his cake with donuts. But and this isn't even a cake. It's a pile of donuts. But we actually have a great picture for you. Wait, you guys, are, they're coming out. They, they want part of the groom's cake. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I want this. this. She, she wants, she wants a donut. Oh, Dave's my. taking the beer. <laughs> no. <laughs> Give me this. That's my beer, Dave. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you let grooms try to plan the wedding. It's exactly. ridiculous. <laughs> and, and it turned out to be such a great cake. Another thing they're doing, Amy, is the music. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Some of the new things that we saw this year, for instance, the JK wedding entrance to Chris Brown. Yeah. And now they're leaving to things like James Brown, I feel good. Or see, I feel Stop like if I let my groom plan my wedding and I'm exiting the wedding, Flo Rida, low, 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 you know, apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. It would not be great. Come on. Everybody would be walking like this. <laughs> <laughs> it would be awesome, I think. I, okay, you're right. It, it would be pretty good. The average wedding costs between twenty and $30,000. And it, it's really difficult for brides to kind of lend over that, you know, that freedom for the groom to take over with the music, with the cake, even the hors d'oeuvres, right? I mean, it's difficult. Yeah, but I don't understand why, because <laughs> they buy cars that are twenty and $30,000, $30, uh -huh. and they have no problem with the guy picking out the car. I mean, I see the trend of groomzillas. I guess I'm just about both people maybe, uh, you know doing it together, but it seems like it's not going to happen. Usually the groom is just told to basically show up on the day, and that's it. Yeah, it used to be like that. They would just, you know, their planning would be just a proposal, and then they would just show up at the wedding with their black tux, and they probably went to the, you know, a funeral with. So, or rented you know, it. Exactly. But renting the tux is, is, a, is a good thing, because now with the, with the numerous colors that they have to match the, the bridesmaids' dresses, it makes just... The, the tux just pop out, especially at the wedding, and also in pictures. I think the bottom line is have a lot of fun on your wedding. Maybe not take it too seriously. Is that what you're getting at here with groom exactly, online? Exactly, exactly. Like the groom going to all those interviews for the caterers and eat, eat, eat. A way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So let him pick the hors d'oeuvres. Exactly. Let's have some hors d'oeuvres, Amy. All right, let's have hors d'oeuvres. We have all your information up on our website, fox5vegas.com. Go to it. You'll have information for grooms online. That's where pretty much, ladies, you can put your men to work. Let them pick out the hors d'oeuvres and hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be good. I mean, I guess you can just pray and... If it's not, I guess just don't sweat the small stuff, would, uh, right? Would nachos, nachos be inappropriate for No, a not at all. Nachos, like a, nachos would be nacho fountain. Amazing. <laughs> a nachos cheese and fountain? Beer. That's yeah. a good idea. Ooh, Instead so. of the chocolate? I'm Yum. Like and, and plan it on Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> He's supposed to plan the wedding on Super Bowl Sunday. I like this guy. I like him. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thanks, Amy. <laughs>